Now, following the gruesome murder of Uwaila Omozua, a 111 student of the University of Benin, who was allegedly raped and killed by some yet-to-be-identified persons inside a church at Ikboba Hill area in Benin City, concerned individuals under the ages of justice for Uwa took to the streets on a peaceful protest. The protesters comprising students, family and friends of Uwa, church members and the media were at the Edo State Police Command and Government House to register their grievances. Receiving the protesters at the State Police Command, Deputy Commissioner of Police DCP Ayola Ajala, who assured that investigations have commenced into the matter, debunked all allegations that the police station where the matter was reported to refuse to look into the incident for lack of funding. She was great, she was killed. 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 No! No! They will be found out. And they will face the full weight of the law. You will recall that we had an incident in Edo State where somebody put pepper into a young girl's uh, private organ. It was on that day that the verb law was assented to by His Excellency. I know that law today has passed FIDA chairperson. Many states of the Federation have not domesticated that law. It shows the passion that we have. Her Excellency, Mrs. Betsy Obaseki, she was at the forefront, side by side with FIDA, to ensure that that law was passed, in a, was adopted in a those state. So we are not going to relent. The family, Edo State Government, they can do with the family. In, the, in some few minutes, Her Excellency will be going to the House of the Bereaved. This morning, the Ministry of Social Development and Gender Issue, with the express authorization of His Excellency, we have already been to the house. The staff was already in the family house this morning. In a short while, Her Excellency will be visiting the parents of that child because Uwa is our daughter. Yes. And those people that have mother Uwa, they will not know peace. In on this matter, we have joining us the co-convener of that protest, who is also a journalist, Choma Ifemeje, joining us from Benin. Good morning, Choma. Good morning. Now, uh, investigation is already on, hence some would ask, what was the point of the protest? Well, um, it, it's important the public uh, I was properly sensitized on rape. People need to know that there's no justification for rape. It doesn't matter where um, she was. It doesn't matter at what time of the day she was out. It doesn't matter what she was wearing. Rape is rape, and rape is caused by rapists. I think it's hard time Nigerians in a do state in city understand that rape is rape. We had to protest in order to call for the speedy conviction of the criminals who beat, raped, and killed Uwa. Hence, we had to go out to protest for justice and also sensitize the public. I mean, everybody would agree that that was quite an unfortunate incident that happened. Now, we understand there were assurances from government officials during the protest that everything will be done to ensure justice. How reassured are you? Well, I would say I, I only will be assured when justice is served. Um, yesterday, the DCP Ayola Ajala told us while we visited the police command that they already had a suspect in custody, but he could not mention a name because investigation is still ongoing. I would say um, first, I commend the job, the work done so far by the police command and also our governor, Godwin Obaseki, I'm looking forward to justice being served, and I'm looking forward to that being done very speedily. Mm -hmm. Now, has there been an incident like this before in the States, uh, before now? Um, we have had rape cases. I mean, just last month, um, a pastor was arrested 
for raping four teenage daughters. And still last month, a father was arrested for impregnating his own daughter. We've had a series of rape cases here in a third state, but I can't seem to think of anyone that was this gruesome mm. who uh, went to church to study. She was beaten, she was raped, she was killed. I saw pictures online, it was too gory to even look at. Mm. I'm not trying to justify that or say that other cases are not as serious as this, but I can't seem to think about any case of this magnitude that's happened in Indo State before. Now, uh, this protest, is it a one-off or how do you intend to sustain it if this uh, kind of cases, uh, uh, you know, uh, always, or not always occur, if you, always, if you have cases of rape like this in Edo State, do you intend to sustain this? We intend to sustain it. We are, we are tired of just talking and creating a Twitter trend or um, typing behind our keypads. I, I think it's not enough. We, we are done just talking on social media. Um, yesterday, we, we, we did something, we came out, we spoke, and uh, we intend to sustain this. Um, my colleagues, uh, the, the group of persons, my media colleagues, um, the lady, Amanda, who first took this up and decided that it's time we come out to talk, I must commend their efforts. We intend to sustain this. We are looking forward to justice being served, and if by all ramifications, we see that it's not being done the way it should be done. We are taken to the streets again, and we will not relent in our efforts until justice is served. Hmm. Thank you so very much, Choma, for your time this morning, and keep safe out there too. Thank you, you too. Bye.